All right, warm temperatures around, and we've been talking about all the humidity across the region. Currently, temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, and yes, the humidity is high. Now, stay with me for the next minute or so. I want to explain why the humidity really impacts our bodies. So here we go. It's hazy, it's hot, it's humid, and you go outside. Well, your body, of course, the first thing it starts to do is gets hot. And once you start getting hot, your body starts to sweat. Now, there's a reason our body sweats. It's to cool you down. But how does that happen? Well, it's pretty simple, really. A little technical, but simple at the same time. When your body sweats, it produces the water on your skin and then that water starts to evaporate into the air. Now technically speaking this is what's called an endothermic process so it takes the heat from the surrounding air and it actually utilizes that uh, to produce the evaporation process. What that leaves behind is some cooler air that is just right around the surface of your skin and that's how you cool down on a hot day. But when it's humid, it's a little tougher for that process to happen. And the humidity actually will lower that evaporation process or slow it so your body can't cool quite as fast. And that's why when it's hot and it's humid, you have a much rougher time cooling down. And that's why uh, these humid days we have ahead over our Thursday and Friday, uh, a little tougher for that body to cool down and becoming dangerous at times. So temperatures are getting hot again tomorrow those heat index values right back into the middle 90s. So tomorrow, as you're sweating around the area, you'll know now the reason you're not cooling is because of the humidity, not so much as the temperature. You learn something new every day. Thanks, Paul. It was really interesting.